really see anything under here. Except for there was one thing here on the left. I don't know if that was it. This thing here. Please don't drown. Thank God. So let's push that over. We should be able to climb up there now, I think. There we go. Alright, push the button, heck yeah. Push the button, heck yeah. Is this all gonna be like an underwater section now? Wait, I thought that door was open. Wasn't that a door there? Guess we're going over here instead. I gotta say, like, I know it seems like I've been stuck at certain points, but this game really does flow very nicely, and the solutions are logical. I guess you could say. So now it looks like the water's up. There we go, now it's coming down. So maybe we just need to go faster. Wait, is that even a door? Because it looks like it's closed. There we go, it's all about timing. God, that's so dark, I can't see anything. Give me some more light, please. Okay, what can we do with that now? Everything is just so bloody dark, I can't see anything. I guess I'm just going to bring it with me. Wait, can I even? There we go. Maybe I can use it to climb that chain? Hey, let's go. You can see one little head bobbing up at the top there. Ooh, it's a train. I wish we had more trains here where I live. Like, I live in a big city, and I feel like we're big enough to have, like, some kind of light rail transport. I don't know, or, like, even to just sort of explore different areas if 
we had a train and like if we didn't have to rely on I'm dead <laughs> if we didn't have to rely on like public transit or like we don't even have public transit we have I think basically like if you're lucky enough there's like bus lines that go in between all the little towns around here but in the city it'd be nice to have some kind of like rapid transport with um some kind of rail I would gladly you know take a subway to work my commute isn't very long at all nope cannot make that jump so I think we need to maybe hide again and then go a second time and lower it some more But yeah, like, where I live, our transit system is just absolute garbage. Like, sometimes the buses don't come on time. Sometimes they come really early. You have to wait, like, 20 minutes for, for the bus to actually come in the first place. Like, it's, it's just really bad. It's very ine inefficient. They're building these, like, rapid transit lines that you know they're supposed to like stop make less stops in between and no let go oh my god um so they're building these like specialized corridors where only these specific buses go and they stop at certain stops just like it would if it was like a a subway of some kind but um yeah just it doesn't feel very efficient and they only save like maybe a few minutes on your commute if that so i just i don't know i feel like if we had some kind of light rail or subway kind of system would make the the city just feel more big time i guess but instead we have a lot of like um people apparently I've spoken to some of my students and they've seen people straight up oh my god make the jump man they've seen people straight up using drugs and the on the bus like on public transit and stuff and it's like there's just no no standard anymore for people or just like society in general I guess I don't know I don't know what I'm trying to say It's just, it's very messed up how downhill, like there's a big, there, we have a lot of like homeless encampments and stuff. There are like tent communities. It's just, I don't know. It's kind of disheartening to see. I feel like we could do better to solve some of these problems than just have these tent communities and homeless encampments. I have a friend of mine that bought a condo and She's been telling me that people like they're getting their well her in particular she's getting like her that was close she's getting her stuff stolen like for example somebody stole all of the stuff off of her bicycle that she had parked um, somebody cut the plug off of her car for when she plugs it in in the winter and she told me that there's like this homeless encampment nearby that I don't necessarily want to blame them and assume that it's them, but... Like... I feel like there's like a whole bunch of shenanigans going on. She said the other day she was leaving her place and somebody had placed like a wooden pallet underneath her window, which was wide open. And she's like, I think that if I would have left, somebody would have broke in through my window and, like, stolen all of my stuff. Like, there's clearly a, a big epidemic going on when it comes to homeless people and drug use and stuff like that. And I feel like we're not getting any closer to solving any of these problems at all. Come on. There we go. Looks like an old 
subway car there in the background. I don't know why, but I feel like some dogs are going to appear any moment now. Looks like the city's taken a pee down into the old subway tunnels. It's another thing that sucks about living in such a flat area is we don't have any tunnels. Like whenever I go, you know, out west or if I go to Europe, I always get fascinated by going through all the tunnels, but we don't have anything like that here. <laughs> what did I literally just say? <laughs> Ask and ye shall receive. Okay, I'm not sure what you want me to do. Wait, did the dog jump in after me? Oh my god, it did. Did it still get me? I thought I dove underneath there. I think that's what I do though. I think I have to dive underneath and sort of like... Sort of swim under and around him. Stupid dog. Unless it catches me, then it's stupid me. Nope. Stupid dog. Outsmarted once again. Holy crap, there's more. Jeez Louise, man. I was waiting there for there to be dogs by a chain link fence. I had a feeling that was coming. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dogs, chill. Chill. Holy man. Oh, there's planks there. I thought it was something to raise. Okay, that's my bad. I didn't trust that. Man, those dogs are terrifying. That reminds me of back in the day when I was a kid, I had a paper route, and whenever I'd have to go into like a, a chained off yard to deliver their paper, but they'd leave their dogs out, and it's like, have some consideration, man. Like, you know that your newspaper is coming. Do you have to put your dog out? right when I'm going to be there and then of course the dogs would be all like barking and growling and stuff like that and it was just a very not fun time and I mean and I love animals too so it's I think it's more so the uh, the owner than it is the oh I could have just snuck through there um, the owner's just, like, not, I don't want to say they're not training their dogs properly, because I'm, oops, I am not a dog owner, so I don't know anything about that. I mean, I guess they're teaching the dog to, like, ward off intruders, but, yeah, I don't know. It just, it would have been nice to, you know, can you grab onto that ladder, please? <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah, it would have been would have been nice to for them to like keep their dogs in and just be considerate of you know, maybe there's somebody coming with your newspaper. All right, let's press on here. Okay, so we got a another guy there. I thought he was one of those mind control guys. Apparently not. So what can I do here instead? Am I supposed to get in that like sub?
How do I get in here? Nice. Nice. Let's do this. I'm going to put a call out for Mario Maker 3 to include the sub from Super Mario Land as a gimmick. Okay, so I think I can go down here. I think that's the whole idea. Uh, I mean, let's just keep going down. Alright, so that's the floor. Can we get in here? Yeah. Can I go up? Nope. Can I go down? Well, apparently I'm in a tight little box here. Oh, I can, like, charge it up and, like, blast through. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. I don't know where I'm going, but... Sort of wander around here. Cool. I just saw something there to the right. Oh, it's just the continuation of the path. Fair enough. Oh, there's a cracked wall here. I assume we just break this. I, Oops, I don't know what else to do here. Hopefully I don't end up like the Titan Submersible. Oh, I can get out of the submarine? Oh my god. Alright, we're back on land again. Though I kind of wish I could use the sub some more. Maybe if I climb this rope here? Okay. So there's something else, some kind of light there in the background. Alright, what does this do? Now, how does that help me? Unless maybe I can now just go through that door. Maybe that was the point, just to clear the way. There we go. This is turning into like, it looks like more of an apocalypse than... What does that do? Maybe if I stand on it? 
Um, yeah, this is ter looking more apocalyptic than just a uh, normal sort of world. Okay, so I think I have to jump to the left there. There we go. My Mario brain keeps holding Y. Because <laughs> I feel like it makes me run faster, even though I know that's not true. But just years of playing Mario have trained my brain to think that way. Just like with the water thing, like I was saying earlier. Dude. Grab the thing. Whatever that was, the pipe. God, sometimes I wish these games actually did have a run button. Even though I know he is running, but... Still, I wish it could go just a little bit faster. Now, do I climb up? Or do I swing across? I think I'm supposed to swing across, actually. So let's get some momentum here. Channel our inner Donkey Kong. There we go. What does this do? Oh, there's my sub. Yes, I got my sub back. Subnautica. What the heck was that? Haha, <laughs> we made the jump. Now, I don't know what this accomplishes. Oh, maybe we can break through here. There we go. I'm just going to keep charging. I feel like that's going a lot faster. So now, can I get out here and maybe press that button? There we go. Now the question is, can I hold on to the sub? Let's maybe swim over here first, just see what's going on. Hmm, I don't know, we might need the sub. Let's see what's on the other side. Possibly. Actually, yeah, I think we do need it. Maybe I lowered the water too quickly, and there's something else I'm supposed to do before that. Okay, let's see. So I can bring my sub over here now. Oh, I thought that was a breakable thing. My bad. Oh, maybe that's just it. Maybe I just need the sub on this side. And then I just lower the water. And then swim back through.
Now can I bring this with me onto that the other side? I can't remember what was on the other side. Okay, yeah, we can. Man, underwater levels always give me some sort of anxiety. Okay, so we can charge through. What the heck is that thing? That's probably not a good thing. <laughs> no, I am dead. So what can I do? If I keep it in the light, then it doesn't come after me. In fact, I repel it when I do that. Is it going to follow me through here too? It sure is. Wasn't there something like this in Little Nightmares? This feels very familiar. Okay, so that's where I came through, I think. Nope. Oh my gosh. I went in the wrong direction. I pressed the wrong way and then I got trapped. I don't know what happened there. Wait, how did I break through there? Am I supposed to charge through? Was that actually right? Oh wait. Ah, I can seal the room. There we go. And now can I burst through here? There we go. So, I mean, I kind of had the right idea. Oh, thank God that's over with. I'm actually kind of thankful to be out of the sub now. <laughs>